The Jets are adding more pieces to their secondary, a weakness on this team. Joe Douglas has brought in Pierre Desir to be our new starting cornerback. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Make sure you tune in Monday and Tuesday nights for my live streams. I will answer all your questions, call-in style, uh, and all Jet-related questions in general if you want to talk more about these free agents. But let's move right along. Pierre Desir has been brought in on a one-year contract to be the Jets' new starting cornerback. He's six foot one, 198 pounds. He graded out as the 73rd overall cornerback in pro football focuses grading so not too great last year had a little bit of a dip off of a year he played in 12 games he did have three interceptions and 11 passes deflected so that's a little bit of a bright spot there had a 77.7 in 2018 so he had a really good year that year from what i've sort of gathered his best games were against hopkins and amari cooper so i think these are you know at least pretty good things to be good at <laughs> if you're the jets we needed a starting cornerback on the other side i'm really excited about bless austin Really excited about Brian Poole. We brought back Arthur, Arthur Millette. So adding this year at least gives us a little bit more flexibility. We won't feel like we have to push towards cornerback earlier in the draft. I think we definitely want to hit lineman and wide receiver, ideally, at the top part. So what should you expect here? Obviously, he's not going to be a high-end cornerback, but he is definitely going to give you starting reps, and it's more depth. It's a one-year contract. Last year, he was paid a $9 million cap hit. So he was cut. He was actually on a three-year deal for the Colts. And since he was cut, he's not going to count against our cap formula for uh, for comp picks next year. So this is a good thing. He's going to be very motivated to try and get another big contract. I would say he's probably going to cost us somewhere in the 5 to $8 million range, if I had to guess. So a pretty good value signing here. Basically someone that I would have considered as far as... Like I wanted Ronald Darby. He was a pretty bad corner, but had ties to joe douglas so this is probably an upgrade from darby 30 years old so you're not really going to get him long term i don't think but a motivated corner on a short-term deal definitely something i'm looking forward to you could argue he was probably the best corner remaining on the market so joe douglas i'm pretty happy with what you're doing here nothing to get overly crazy excited about but i am i'm happy with this move i think we're playing money ball right now we're drafting a lot of we're bringing in a lot of good guys that are not going to cost us a whole heck of a lot of money and it looks like Joe Douglas is kind of maneuvering the cap with a lot of guaranteed money up front. So he's making more room for next year. I would think that's probably a tip of the hat if we're looking to bring in and sign long-term uh, Jamal Adams. I would think, or maybe they're making more room to bring in Robbie Anderson or whatever else. You guys know the moves I want to see us make, but I'm looking forward to watching Desir play with us this year. I think the secondary is going to be better. I think another year of Jamal in May definitely is not going to hurt. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets. Jets!